tired, worn out, defeated, but also very hopeful. These are some words that describe nurses who are reflecting on the past year while also looking ahead to 2022. It's been about a year since frontline workers began receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, and one nurse spoke with On Your Side's Robert Bradfield about the successes and setbacks he saw while in the ICU. Justin Adams hasn't had a moment to catch his breath. As a nurse, he's been at the bedside of many COVID-19 patients as they have taken their last. We can finally be able to, um, you know, just take a take a deep breath and, and relax for um, maybe a minute. But, you know, unfortunately, we've not seen that yet. Adams was one of the first to get the vaccine at his hospital, but quickly realized many of those he was treating had decided not to get it. This has been like super... Um, like emotionally and physically draining on us. And, um, you know, we thought, okay, this, this is going to be like our saving grace. He says he can count on one hand how many patients were vaccinated. Those who weren't didn't have much of a chance to leave the hospital alive. I'm being lenient. Five is probably a little bit over the number I've actually seen. He hopes the new year brings a new mindset for COVID-19, urging people to get their shots and the booster to slow the spread and the deaths that he says have continued with the Delta variant. And for the small number of patients who did pull through, he says they regretted not being vaccinated. I think for healthcare professionals, you know, it's also taken a larger toll because we see this as uh, something that can be prevented. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side. And tons of flights had to.